Hey everybody, good afternoon. Hope you're having a great day today. It's Dr. Naputi. Uh, I got some things that we need to talk about today. We need to have a conversation and Common Sense Nation needs to wake up. Uh, I wanna, wanna share some things with everybody. I had a good friend of mine send me something today that is just absolutely, just absolutely crazy. Because I'm done with it. I've literally, this is my last straw. Why the hell this is not all over the news? Why the hell this is not all over TV is just, it blows my mind. It's because the media is out against you. It's fake news. There's so much bullshit going on, it's not even funny. So here's some bullshit. Let me tell you about this right here. This was sent to me this morning. You guys see this? It says this. This is a news article that was done by a uh, fake news in uh, Louisiana. Let me tell you what the hell it said. This is, mm, pisses me off. Um, w, uh, WAFB um, Gary Media Group. Anybody that knows anybody, WAFB Gary Media Group, this is, you guys need to have, call me because we need to have a conversation and we need to take you out to the broom closet and you know what that means. Now listen to me. It says one day old, one day old Louisiana girl dies of COVID-19. Okay, that's what it says from coronavirus. It says one day old dies from coronavirus in Louisiana. You guys better share this because I'm telling you, I'm about to drop a bomb on you. Why the hell this is not all over local TV is beyond me. Now listen, it says one day old girl dies from coronavirus in Louisiana. Then you click on the hyperlink. You click on the link that, that the original story comes from. Now here's the original story. Listen to this. Premature baby dies from COVID-19 complications in Louisiana. Totally different. Right here it says one day old baby dies of coronavirus in Louisiana. This is fake news. Okay, this is not. Let me tell you what happened. It says right here, one day old baby girl dies from complications due to COVID-19. According to East Baton Rouge Parish Coroner Bo Clark, MD, Clark says a, a pregnant mother was admitted to Baton Rouge Hospital April 1st with COVID-related symptoms, including shortness of breath and fever. She was placed on a ventilator and tested positive for COVID-19. Okay, now listen. The mother went into premature labor, delivered the daughter at 22 weeks early. 22 weeks early. You guys, at 20 weeks is when you find out the sex of the baby. Okay, so 22 weeks, the baby's not even, it's halfway done cooking. Okay, so the baby dies from that. The baby didn't survive. It didn't die from COVID-19. The baby did not die. Now, every mother in Louisiana, every mother across the world that sees this article, every person that's pregnant is going to be scared shitless because some a-hole is allowing this to happen. Now, I can't get on an airplane and yell bomb. I can't go into a movie theater and yell fire. That's a felony. But these assholes are allowed to propagate fake news. And we're standing there not doing anything about it. It's time for everyone watching to get a cranial rectalectomy right now. Let's pull our heads out of our asses and let's start looking at the truth. Like, this is ridiculous. You're telling me that the state of the affairs in our world are letting people deal with this stuff? I mean, if this doesn't agitate you, you have a problem. You have a serious mental problem. If you are going to let somebody put out their fake news and it says, one day old baby girl dies from coronavirus in Louisiana, then we go back and we see that the truth behind the story is this. The truth is the baby died because the mother got sick. We don't know what the mother's underlying health issues were. She got put on a ventilator. The baby was born at 22 weeks premature. At 20 weeks is when you know the birth of the sex of your baby. The baby wasn't done cooking. And they basically said, the coroner says the baby died from COVID-19. That's wrong. Okay? Right off the presses this morning. This is in the Herald Tribune out of uh, Sarasota, Florida. Okay? Coronavirus Florida is the headline. Sarasota Memorial Hospital furloughs staff members after $16 million decline. $16 million decline. Every hospital around the country, here locally in St. Louis, we know for a fact that the hospitals are down, and this one's down $16 million since, since the beginning of this coronavirus. Shouldn't they be up? Shouldn't they be up with, with people in the ERs, people in the hospitals, people getting tested? Shouldn't they be up? Shouldn't they be up massively because everybody's going to the hospital? No, they're down. Gunshot wounds are down. Fight, you know, people are going to the ER is down. Going to their doctors down. They're down. But $16 million, they're down. So they're furloughing. They're laying off their healthcare workers. Guess what? Coming to a hospital near you. I know already in St. Louis that there's doctors and nurses being laid off. I know already in Illinois where we're right next to practicing, there's doctors and nurses being laid off. You guys are being lied to, propagated to by the false news, fake narratives that are out there. People are trying to get us all riled up and in a panic. Again, 
If you or me go into a public building and we yell fire and there's no fire, guess what happens? We get felonies. We get sued. We go to jail. Uh, if you go on an airplane and yell bomb, you'll never be able to fly on a plane again. But yet they can do stuff like making these claims. It's just bullshit. It's wrong. And somebody's got to stand up for it. And why? This is America. Like, and I know some of you watching are watching all over the world, but you know what? We stand for something in this country. We've got a constitutional republic that we've got Bill of Rights. We've got freedom of speech. We've got all this kind of stuff. And those liberties are being torn from us, and that's not okay. And the fact that you're sitting there not doing anything about it, washing your hands and staying at home, you need to wake up because your liberties are getting taken away from you all because of fake news that's out there. You're not going to see that on CNN, NBC, Fox News, or local. They're all saying the same thing. Go do yourself a favor and look up this. Go look up Operation Mockingbird. Now, here's my foil hat going on. Okay, go look it up. Every media outlet across the country is being fed, spoon-fed a story to tell you. Go look it up. Operation Mockingbird, okay? Those of you that like it, that's your decision. Those of you that don't, that's your decision. But you need to get informed. What you do with the information is up to you. Whatever you want to use is fine. But you guys, wake up. Like, we're being lied to so much, and I just am so frustrated. Like, as a doctor, it's my job to take care of my community. That's my job. You, you doctors that are watching this, and I see a lot of you right here. Why are you not getting loud? And the, the headlines were, baby dies of coronavirus. Now, did you guys see earlier last week, or late last week, there was a, a story out of Connecticut where the, where the, uh, the governor came out, tweeted, and said, a, babe, a child, an infant died in Connecticut of coronavirus. And then the parents came out and said, no, my child did not die of coronavirus. My child had an accident at home and died from that. It is just crazy. Please, you guys, go back and watch this. Share this because I promise you this video is going to get removed today. I promise you that there's no way in hell the powers that be are going to let this video get out. I promise you. And by the way, I can promise you this. Next month, I'm going to get more audits from the IRS from the insurance companies, from Medicare and everybody else because when a doctor speaks up and speaks out about the truth, the powers that be come after the doctor to suppress them and shut them up. That's the world we're living in right now. How many of y'all think that's okay? It's not. Now I'm telling you right now, we can get healthier, we can beat this stuff, but we gotta wake up. We gotta start seeing, it's 2020. It's time to start seeing the world of 2020 vision. And I'm telling you right now, you need to wake up and look around. Next time you see a major headline, look for the story that brought that story out. Look and see, well, wait a minute, that doesn't make sense. Your spider sense started tingling. This is not real journalism, people. Right now, what should be happening is people should be going to hospitals right now. I mean, independent people should be going and ask to volunteer at hospitals and see how crazy it is. Journalists should be going inside of the emergency rooms and the ICUs to find out what the hell is really going on in there. That's what needs to be done because right now there are people all over the world going to hospitals and ERs and ICUs and they're not seeing the craziness that's being reported. And I'm not, I'm not saying that COVID-19 is not, the, not a real deal. I'm not saying it's not a virus. It sure is. We don't have a cure for it, just like we don't have a cure for the cold or the cure for the flu or anything else. And oh, by the way, don't you think it's really interesting if you look at the stats of how of how not right now all the COVID-19 coronavirus deaths are rising. Guess what's dropping massively? Deaths from pneumonia, deaths from the flu, and deaths from, uh, from heart disease and heart attacks. Don't you think it's a bit ironic? What, are people not dying from heart attacks anymore? Are people not dying from, from pneumonia? Are they not dying from the flu? Nope, apparently COVID-19 and coronavirus fixed that. So now every person that dies now, for the most part, is getting labeled toe tag with COVID-19 coronavirus. Think about that, people. I don't know what to tell you other than it's crazy. And every one of you better share this information with everybody on your contact list. And when I get done, you should start a watch party about this. People need to know what's going on and what's possible. And if you missed it from the beginning, you better go back and watch this thing because you're being lied to. Little babies that claim to be dying in, in, uh, in, in uh, Baton Rouge, Louisiana from COVID-19. Shame on you for reporting that. Shame on that. Shame, shame, shame on that uh, governor from Connecticut that reported that a little baby was killed, uh, died from COVID-19 coronavirus, and they come to find out the parents came out and said, no, my child had an accident at home. That, that guy right now needs to have a resignation. I'm calling for that guy's resignation. All of you in Connecticut, I'm sure some of you guys are there. Your governor needs to resign right now for spreading fake news. They're spreading blatant lies that are going to kill people. Blatant lies are going to kill people.